So from this place, I would like to uh, just say a few things uh, in preparation for more uh, some investigation of our nervous system. Uh, so we all been raised in a certain family environment, in a certain cultural environment. And very likely that wasn't uh, the loving, uh, uh, conscious, uh, all welcoming and attuned parents, very likely. And we were dropped in the middle of unconsciousness of our parents and of society and all their sense of separation and patterns and traumas and we were shipped into, into that. And however the environment was, we as kids were very sensitive and receptive and aware, sensing energies, sensing our parents' energy, sensing what was happening. And we were trying to get our needs met of being loved, of being safe. And we learned very quickly that we get love or we'll get approval or we get to be safe. It's not unconditional, is that we need to do something or we need to be in a certain way or we need to not show this and not say that and not express this and yeah so and this became even before we had thoughts they say trauma specialists and wise men or women they say that these were created some energetic imprints before even having thoughts in the nervous system some type of how to be so that we have less suffering and hopefully get love and approval. And uh, these are imprinted in our nervous system. Moreover, through the work of Scott Kilby, we call this commands, trauma or repression commands. Like some short phrases, tell us how to be and how not to be that are that are not according to our natural uh, guidance system they are not according to our spontaneous nature of our essence this were adaptation we adapted it like that uh, and these are very deep and these are playing out now some of us done some work and we um, freed ourselves from some of them or through some awakening experience we some of them became thinner some patterns some issues disappeared but from my experience the the, the strongest of them didn't um, so there are some relational imprints, how we relate to other people and to our worlds and to emotions and that play out in relationships. They play out in our relationships and play out in all relationships, but especially in intimate relationships. So I would like to uh, go back into uh, going inside, being aware and like to explore certain <laughs> things. Uh, yeah, so if you are watching this now online, uh, yeah, I suggest you pause this and maybe drop in, watching your breath or being aware for some time, going beyond thoughts and just 
being present for some time before jumping into this exercise, because we have been doing that here for some time. So we can remind ourselves if necessary that whatever may come up in this investigation can only be thoughts or sensations or images and it cannot hurt his presence, we cannot hurt it. And uh, also we'll try to have an attitude of whatever comes is that we are looking at this without judging, with some mm, embracing, like a loving, accepting embrace of the, whatever comes the best we can. All right, so <clears throat> allow yourself to go somehow in the time machine. <coughs> like in the movies, a time machine, or you go back somehow in a, to a psychic, to a time when your body was much smaller and we were in this home or this block of flats or whatever house. So allow now in your mind's eye, memories, images, connected with household and the parents, the siblings, or whoever was there, grandparents, Some of us were in group homes, whatever your environment was. So welcome, just random images, memories from, from zero to 10. Seeing the house, seeing your room, the furniture. Parents or adults there. Without doing anything, just almost going to memory bank. You see how were the parents interacting with each other? Were they kind, loving? Were they shouting? Were they checked out? Were they? intoxicated. What was the overall dynamic that we had with mommy and daddy? Did we feel comfortable, relaxed in their presence? Did we feel safe or not? Welcome, whatever these words prompt. Images, memories, energies in the body. Witnessing them, allowing them. Looking at the mom, let's say, was there some issue there between us and her? We feel like we, we could be ourselves with her or some parts were not allowed. Same with father figure there. Were we open, were we guarded, we were both.
Yeah, so now tune into your inner body and, and, and notice if there's some energies or feelings, sensations now. Welcome down. So filling into those areas, what were some of the messages we, we got? Somehow we got some message that about ourselves, whether they said it or not. We got some messages about ourselves or the world. If you have some sense of unpleasantness in your body, so let that message come from that area. Of the body, the sensation, this tightness, this not. What does it mean about me? What did it mean about me then? Whatever comes, witnessing these words, I'm not allowed, I cannot be myself, I have to be careful, or nobody cares, or, or whatever, whatever you have. And so we are revisiting this year, and I know for some of us that have been really terrible stuff. So we are revisiting this, but we already survived this stuff, survived, and we are now bringing awareness to these corners. And my question now is based on how the dynamic was there in that family. How did I adapt? As a little boy, a little girl, we learn to adapt. To make it a little better for ourselves, even if it wasn't good. We adapt to, to be more in a certain way and to not show something or to allow something and to be different. You know, welcome any sense of how you adapted. If there was a lot of violence or uh, emotional turmoil, how did you adapt to have less of that? And if there was not much connection, how did we adapt to, to get some love, some affection? It was unsafe. How did we how did we adapt to to try to be more safe. Yeah, so, so let this answer to these questions be very brief. Like for me, I adapted to, to be careful. Watch out, watch out all the time. To 
to not to not share much what's going on to hide to hide to lie to lie to be polite to be very polite and to be nice and to be good how did you adapt Yeah, so whatever comes now, there are images or energies in the body, words, total unpleasant. We can take it now, we can take this, we can, we can witness this now. Whatever is happening now, something is aware of it. I'm curious if you guys can say just briefly some of those short adaptations, just to say the one that we all hone into two or three or four such things, like I give an example, like yeah, just say out loud. Hate others, hold them accountable. Be very tough. Oh, hate others. Be, be very accountable. Hold others, oh, hold others accountable and be tough. Tough. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, this reminded me I had some more like be strong and don't feel. Not to feel, not to make mistakes. Don't make mistakes. Be strong. Someone else? Mm -hmm. Don't speak, hide. And try and anticipate others' needs. Try and get more than Don't speak, hide. Speak, don't speak our needs, what we want, what bothers us, yeah. Hide and anticipate. Yeah. I'm trying to get love by anticipating what they need and how to make it better for them. Yeah. Yeah. So try to also all of us to hone into as like the essence of this program as a command. I don't know. Anticipate whatever, don't make them upset, don't upset them. Trying to get to your commands. Anyone else? All right, so. So these are some of the stuff. That's how we adapted. What we've done so far was, it's kind of maybe stirred some insights, stirred some images, uh, stirred some unpleasant energies in us. This is more like a little bit. It, it reveals just a little bit. It's a whole world in there, the nervous system of impulses for safety that were deeply, uh, where we betrayed ourselves, basically. We had to betray ourselves to get love or be safe. So what I would like to do now, like to switch into a so-called level two uh, killer inquiries 
protocol, uh, which some inquiries, general overall repression inquiries, and we the idea is to to rev them up a little bit, and then see where like save them a little bit, something along the lines, I will do it, I will say something along the lines, I can fully be myself, I can show myself, I can speak up, I can, things like that. Then notice where you have the unpleasant energy in your body or the contraction in relation to that. And then I would like that you go straight into uh, firing these commands that we discovered already be good, hold back, be tough, be quiet, uh, whatever, stay small, don't feel. We, we fire them into that area continuously, yeah? So we are continuously repeating, whispering to ourselves or silently that command into that area. We do this until we notice a shift at some energetic level. Yeah, so just play with that. So we don't just stay at the psychological level, but bring more and more of this to the awareness. So bringing up people, the panorama of people in the family of origin there, seeing them in the mind's eye, and feeling into the body, welcoming energies around the panorama. And then we can drop these inquiries and again, notice wherever the opposition comes in your body. Then we'll go fire consciously, repetitiously, the commands into that energy. So seeing those people, I could fully be myself with them. I could show my feelings with them. I can show myself with them. I can speak up with them. I can express any feeling, any emotion. I can fully be myself, I could fully be myself with them. Notice where is energetic opposition and fire straight the command, whatever command feels more relevant. Hide, you have to hide, 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 or whatever you have. Let's all do it now. Fully be myself with them and fully show myself completely and express anything. No. Whispering or out loud on the video firing these words into that area in the belly or in the chest. Being conscious of the voice, conscious of the energy, conscious of the words. Fully be myself, no, I have to what? For non-English speaker people like, or people who are raised in another country, you can try to, to run these commands in your, in your original language. Okay. 
firing this into the areas until there is some shift energetically in some way. I can fully be real with them. I can be real with them. I can be real with anybody now, all the time. I can fully be myself now. Firing again straight the commands into as we do it like this, the, the command shifts, something more relevant, go with that one. Now, if you can pause the command and well, welcome any feeling, welcome any energy, feeling any memory that might have been dropped. <coughs> welcome and allow witnessing them. Because this, this, this kind of repetitious command witnessing stirs things. It's good to give it some time to allow them to catch up with what's being stirred. Welcome any feeling, energy. Notice something is aware yet unaffected. Yeah, and notice also whatever is left in your body where you are more, wherever you feel more something in your body. If you can mine it, if that energy in the body were to say something, what would it say? Witness and allow that. And let's do another little round. Like we could argue with those nervous system commands. We can <laughs> say, if I have hide and be nice, I can say something looking at my family of origin saying something like, I, I don't need to hide anymore. I don't need to hide. I don't need to be nice. I can fully, really be myself, fully, completely. I can share completely what bothers me. So reverse the command, argue with the command. I can, don't need to do this anymore. I can now be fully real, fully expressed can say no to anybody, express anger. Notice where is some area of opposition in your body and fire again that command, no, be tough, be tough, or be quiet, or be nice, hide. Fire it repetitiously into that area consciously. You know, the mind aspect, the body aspect, and awareness, they are all together.
there's any random stuff, images, memories, feelings, welcome, but keep staying with that command, firing it into that area. Until there is a shift, something in some way in the body. It's hard to be current with each one of us. So at some point, you can stop the command and welcome energies. Welcome. All of these are like ragged children, suffering children from our past. We welcome, embrace them. Like a whole orphanage of us. Like, yeah, buddy, I got you. It's okay. I love you. Welcoming everything. Yeah, and now, wherever you are at, you can open the attention, not focusing in some contraction, opening the attention. Noticing the space in which this, uh, the sensations are free floating or static. And release custody over them. We don't have to manage anything. Yeah, and ask yourself, you know, just we need to re verify this. Whatever has been drummed up, stirred. Am I this stuff or am I this presence which is aware of this stuff? Stuff changes. This open aware space stays. Not to transcend the stuff, and not to run away from the stuff. Yeah, we welcome the stuff, we feel the stuff, but it's good to be aware of the bigger picture here. Yes, we are that which remains, that which is here that with senses, these energies. So whatever is left, don't focus into it. Offer them to the space. For the last minute or so, doing nothing, just being knowingly, being. Mm -hmm. 
it's okay if there's some unpleasantness. It's like letting them do whatever they want. We don't need to finish all our thin body today. Going back to our bigger picture of what we are. Being conscious of the stuff, conscious of this sense of I am without words. And see if there's some part of you where you feel like some kind of a young, innocent, kind of young, innocent, vulnerable part of us is seemingly located in the belly of the chest or something or in both places. And we can put our hands and with the hands, like the hands are saying, I love you. I'm here for you. I'm here for you now. I got you. I got your back. I'm here for you. I take care of you. Like be this ideal mother or father that we didn't have. It is ideal, conscious, adult <laughs> saying to this part, I got you now, it's okay, I got you. You can bring all this to me. I'm here for you. It's okay, I love you. So reminding this young and awesome part of us that it's also we have friends, friends that are wise and loving and are doing the same thing. So we are not alone anymore in this kind of stuff. We are not alone anymore. We have some form of a conscious family. We are all helping each other and soothing each other and In a circle of humanity, as in the fourth way, they would say the people who are dedicated to waking up and healing, and the awake people, and the partially awake people, and the awakening people. It's an inner circle of humanity, a conscious family. We are not alone. God is on our side. God is witnessing. 